Good morning. I want to read you something and please, if you want, tell me how you feel about it. Were you shocked by this? Were you surprised? What was your reaction? If you want, just tell me. See, I tried reading this now three times. It's very, very hard to read this stuff. So this is from Australia. So first, Facebook, right? So first there's a lady, Kylie Whiting, and she says this. Where is a good place to take a scared eight-year-old to get their needle? I like them to make a bit of a big deal about it. She's seen me drop after my second dose and is scared. All right. So that was her post. And then there's a reply from Cass Duncan. It's another lady, I suppose. Cass. She says this, I had the same situation and my three-year-old, she saw me having to be rushed to the hospital by ambulance after my second dose. She saw me. I took her to this kid's clinic, and then there's a name, and she says, it was fantastic, balloons and lollipops with no weight, so no chance for anxiety. Were you shocked by this? Well, I don't know what to say. You see, with this lady, the last one especially, so, so she, took, she took the second dose, she's rushed to the hospital, and her three-year-old is witnessing all this, and now she's considering, you know, how can I get this to my kid too? Now she's afraid, how can I deal with this? And, wow, she finds this clinic that will give the kid lollipops and there, there are balloons. Fantastic. It was fantastic, she said. And now my kid, she got it. The same thing that I got, you know. And I was rushed to the hospital. You know, are you shocked by this? Now, this is the level of insanity that we can see. Well, it's there. Well, yesterday I talked about Pierre Poulier, the opposition leader in Canada. And I said I like him. Oh. I also said that he's a globalist, right? Now, somebody reminded me of this. I forgot about this. Uh, Pierre Poulier, he refused to see Christine Anderson. Christine Anderson came to Canada and Pierre refused to see her. Now, I, I was reminded of this and I changed my mind. I don't like Pierre Poulier. <laughs> I can do this, you see. I can be wrong. So I don't like him. All right. Now, this is ridiculous, isn't it? Christine Anderson attacked Justin Trudeau ferociously. And this should be in Pierre's interest, see, but he, he couldn't see her. Right. And he's a globalist, right? And somebody said, no, 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 he's not a globalist. This is bullshit. Prove it, this guy said. Now, well, you have to look at this yourself. You know, there are rules for these guys. You know, Pierre Bouliard. He may have other ideas secretly, you know, absolutely. He could have these ideas that are contrary to this thing, to the globalists, maybe. But there are rules for this guy. And here you can see it. He couldn't see Christine Anderson because she's not a globalist. She's not working for them. She's working against them, absolutely. No, uh, I will see what happens with this guy, Pierre. Right. Finally, I have some very, very sad news. This is for, this is about the United States. You Republicans in the United States, especially, very, very sad. This stuff. Right. If you want to vote for Trump, if you're planning to vote for Trump 
this is so sad for you because you know I think this is true Bruce Springsteen you know he just announced that he will leave the United States if Donald Trump is elected in 2024 so there you go now you can't vote for Trump isn't it sad I mean, no you can't be responsible for Bruce Springsteen leaving your country of course not you know? and that's what he says he will do right I think this is correct you know? I didn't double check it okay so bad news for you guys you Republicans you have to find somebody else to vote for now right that's all. Be good.